All right. We're outside again. All the snow from Snowmageddon is gone. Yay! But we took the distributor part thinking we had a stuck advance again. You want to show them what we found? Yeah? You want to see? Yeah? Okay. That advance looks like it works. So we're not sure what's going on. Must be a choke thing. I idle something. Not sure. We gotta keep digging with it. You wanna show them what else we found? Come on, follow me. All the way over here. Said the windshield wiper stopped working. Go ahead and hit the switch. Ha! Ah, you gotta have the car on first. Silly. Now hit the switch. It's hard to find good help these days. You hear that? Sounds like we're getting power. But I think our motor might be strong. Okay, so we'll keep on working. We're gonna put the distributor back together, fire it up, see if we can't get the carburetor reset and idle right. Then we'll figure out what's up with the windshield wipers. Really is a nice day though. Remember we said that the fan was clicking too? Yeah, we got that figured out. We knew after the other rally, when we did the water crossing, which was awesome, that the fan clutch wasn't long for this life. I don't know if you can see it. Get it in the daylight. Yep, see? Only about, only about half to third of the bearings are there. That's not good. Nope. So, we replaced it with a new one, and I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh, you should have gone with a flex light or electric fan, yeah, that's in the future, we'll get to that when we come to it, right now this was just easy, so you want to get this bolted on, okay. Gotta wash the glass. I'm gonna get all the way. Somewhere around here, 
there is a nut. Oh, there it is. Now, there's going to be a lock washer behind this, but I'm going to hold this, put this on just to hold this in place for now, and then we'll do the other three. We'll do the other three and then come back and do that one to hold it in place. And the person that invented these ratcheting wrenches is a genius. They're awesome. Best way to do this. Just snug it up till we come back. So, wow, I'm really close to camera. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the rest of this bolted up and then put the distributor back together. All right. So we got the distributor put back together. And while we were doing that, we noticed something else. I hear your head. Probably close to the hood there. You okay? Dang it. Really? We need to start from scratch? Yeah? Okay. Take two. We got the distributor valve back together. And while we were doing that, we noticed something else. You want to show them? That vacuum cap's missing. Should have caused a high idle. Maybe a rough idle. That's not good. Probably popped off when it backfired. So we gotta replace that. We got some here. When you have one of these old cars, vacuum caps happen. We did start it, and it's very high idle. Follow me. So that's the adjustment for the high idle, right there. We're gonna back that out a little bit, get our idle down. But while we were under here, we noticed something else. Right down in here, Underneath the alternator is the bolt for the A-arm bushing. That's rattled itself loose. We're going to take care of that too. So hopefully in a few minutes we should be good to go. Go get the ratchet. Oh, watch out for the door. Memory serves me as a 9 16 So we'll probably only need a 3 8 Oh, that's going to fall. 3 8 drive. And 9 16 right there. Right there. Yep. Okay. We'll get this tightened up and fire back up. Grab 
grab the quarter inch. Well, that was an amateur mistake. I can't believe you did that. You grabbed the wrong ratchet. You really cannot find good help these days. Just get it fixed. Oh, that's going the wrong way. Excuse the Please. janky wiring on the alternator. That was not my doing. That was previous owners. And we have not gotten around to rewiring the car. Hopefully when the new chassis is done and the body swap's done, we'll rewire everything. We'll have to properly torque that here, but at least we're not worried about it falling out now. So, I need to adjust that uh, carb and try to start it up. On the back side of here is a screw. And by backing this screw out, you adjust the high idle. Hopefully it's in focus. There we go. And it's just kind of a trial and error. Get her set down where she idles happily. All right, let's fire it up. You know, I'm really digging your choice of colors today. Orange is a good color. All right, fire it up. That wasn't promising. Try it again. Back outside we go. What do you think it is? Well, choke. It's definitely set down. Yeah. Let's see if we see if we can't get it set to high high idle. Let's see if that does it. Did you really just step on the seat? Move that big paw of yours. Well, that sounds better. Definitely a choke thing. Yep. 
adjust down just a little bit more. Just a few more adjustments. We'll get her. Yeah. Okay, shut it off. Okay, a few more adjustments and I think we'll have her. Yeah. We'll get her. Stay tuned. Can we quit rolling now? Well, we got it idling, so that's good. We'll drive it for a few days and see how it runs. We'll tweak it here and there. Yeah. I say that a lot, don't I? Anyways, hope you enjoy. What else should I say? Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. Um, yeah. That's about it. Have a good weekend, everybody. Until the next time something else breaks. Conrad the Cone here. Yeah. Okay.